Under the watch of Fine Gael in government, the price of homes has risen so high that working people on good incomes can no longer afford to buy their own home, and that is the reality. An entire generation of workers have been locked out of home ownership. And that is why 70% of the apartments outlined in the Chartered Surveyor's report are not even for sale. They are being developed on a build-to-rent market, snapped up by institutional investors, vulture funds or so-called cuckoo funds, who are exploiting the scarcity of housing to turn over massive profits. And in doing so, they have been aided and abetted by a tax regime brought in by your government that gives them the upper hand over workers and families. The rents they charge are excessive and a disgrace. In Dublin suburbs and in the commuter belt, rents now range from €1,800 to €2,000 per month. Here in this city, a month's rent will set you back between €2,200 and €2,600. And if ever there was proof of how broken our housing system is, then this is it. You said, Tanisha, that you would stand up for those who got up early in the morning to go to work. Well, what about the hard-working people, especially our young people who get up every single morning but who can't afford to rent or buy a home? They're paying huge rents and can't afford a home. Or they're forced to live far away from their work and from family, condemned to spend hours day in, day out, making the long commute to work, or, or the other cohort who's living at home with their parents. And this isn't just a Dublin issue, it's repeated right throughout the state. Your Minister for Housing, Owen Murphy, when he was in that position, promised repeatedly to deliver 6,200 affordable homes by 2021. Not one of those has been delivered, not one, Tanisha. So do you accept that Fine Gael's housing policy has failed these families? Do you accept that proposals that you brought forward has fuelled this issue? And what are you going to do to deliver affordable homes for working people who want to rent or buy? Gramaigat. Thanks very much, Deputy. Uh, I think we all acknowledge uh, in this House um, that the uh, cost of housing uh, in Ireland is far too high, uh, particularly for those uh, who want to buy their first home. Um, very high relative to people's incomes. That's particularly so in the cities, uh, and that is particularly uh, so in central Dublin, um, to where the report you, you referenced refers. And I do notice that the whole premise of your question was to uh, compare the record of my party uh, in government when it comes to housing um, uh, with yours. Uh, and I think it's fair that we should do uh, exactly that, because when it comes to housing, uh, Sinn Féin is for it in principle, uh, but always seems to be against it in practice. And your record, whether it's in Northern Ireland or in local authorities in this state, uh, is very poor when it comes to providing social housing, keeping rents down, and when it comes to actually permitting uh, builders to build houses that people need to buy. So what's the solution? Part of the solution, of course, is more social housing. Uh, and more social housing benefits everyone, not just people who are on the housing list, uh, but also um, it helps people who are renting in the private sector and helps to bring down the general cost of housing for those who don't qualify for social housing. And that's why we need to build much more of that. Uh, you mentioned Owen Murphy. Uh, in the last year in which he was uh, Minister for Housing, uh, 2019, uh, we added 6,000 units to our social housing stock, north of the border where Sinn Féin is in government, in government for 13 of the last 20 years. You provided much less social housing on a per capita basis. Sinn Féin provided less social housing than Owen Murphy did uh, in 2019. Uh, that is your record and that is a verifiable fact. Uh, when it comes to private housing, uh, we need to build more of that because people need homes to buy because people want to own their own home in Ireland. 65-70% of people do and we want to make that a reality for as many people. Uh, yet across Ireland, uh, Sinn Féin and local authorities vote against zoning land for housing, votes against uh, housing developments, social housing, mixed housing of all sorts. Uh, they vote against it. Uh, and that's particularly verifiable in relation to Dublin City Council and other areas. Uh, we have the Help to Buy scheme, which you're against. Uh, the Help to Buy scheme is there uh, to help people um, with their deposit, allowing you to reclaim some of the income tax uh, that you paid uh, in previous years. And Sinn Féin has consistently opposed that, uh, yet that has helped thousands of people uh, to get their deposit together and buy their first home. And we have the rent pressure zones uh, brought in to moderate control um, rents uh, and while they haven't brought rents down, uh, they've been successful uh, in slowing um, rent inflation, making sure that in many parts of the country, the maximum rent increase uh, is 4%, uh, and in many cases is much lower than that. Contrast that with Sinn Féin in Northern Ireland, 
where you actually voted to increase rents. These are the facts. Sinn Féin on housing built less social houses in 2019 than Owen Murphy did as the Fine Gael Minister. Uh, Sinn Féin votes to increase rents uh, in Northern Ireland. Uh, Sinn Féin opposes the building of new homes across Ireland on your local authorities. You would make a bad situation much, much worse. Seriously, Tanisha, what planet are you living on? Seriously, it's time for you to get your head out of the sand. You've been in government for 10 years. You've been Tisha for a period of that time. You, you try to blame everybody and everybody else for, uh, for this issue, but it doesn't wash. The reality is this is your housing crisis. The reality is it is €439,000 to buy the cheapest apartment in Dublin City. Under your government, under you in government for 10 years, it is, people are paying rents of up to €2,600 per month. Yet you want to blame everybody else. You know fine well the facts. Sinn Féin has not opposed a single social or affordable housing development in Dublin. But contrast to that to your councillors who voted against thousands of social and affordable housing in Clondalkin and in Talla. That's the reality of it. And you have been told time and time again that some of the policies that you have introduced are actually fueling house prices. Don't take Sinn Féin's word for it. The Help to Buy scheme has been attacked by the ESRI. They said it will push up house prices. It is exactly what it is doing. Look at the shared equity scheme that you're introducing. The most senior civil servant in the Department of Public Expenditure said this scheme Thank is about lining the pockets of developers. You, but what does Leo Varadkar do? You, he talks about introducing this Sir, scheme. So let's push up house Sir, prices Margaret. further. Is that your Sir. policy, Leo? Is it to Thank push up rents further? Because that is what has Deputy happened. Deputy Gerda Margot. Gerda Margot. That, that's that's uh, Ken Corley. Just for anyone who decides to uh, write this or review this, I think the record should state that it was the deputy who got personal, um, both uh, towards Owen Murphy and then towards me, and it was the deputy that was partisan, uh, attacking my party by name Fine Gael, rather than talking about the government. And I think it's important that uh, that is recognised. But having been personal and partisan, I think it's only fair that I should be allowed to stand my ground. Uh, and defend myself as a person and defend my party and my colleagues. Um, and the fact is, the fact is, Deputy, uh, your party, Sinn Féin, has been in government for 13 of the past 20 years in Northern Ireland. You've been in government on this island longer than my party has in the past 20 years. You're a party of government. You're an establishment party north of the border. And when it comes to social housing, your record is not good. Uh, you built uh, fewer social houses in recent years in Northern Ireland uh, than we've added to the social housing stock here south of the border, certainly since 2016. Uh, you increased local authority rents in Northern Ireland. Your councillors did that. You can't blame anyone else for that. Um, you voted against plenty of mixed housing developments uh, here in this city. Um, you, and Thomas also, uh, you've opposed the first. Thank you, you. You've opposed the Help to Buy scheme. Thank you, Thomas the Help to Buy scheme, Mark. which has helped uh, thousands you. of people no, 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 uh, to, buy, to, buy their, to buy their first home. Uh, <laughs> Okay. 